What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. You about to enter that real boxing. It's your dig with the boxing clinic. And um, this is one of the most slept upon fights of this year. Uh, this might be the potential, you know, um, I don't want to use fight of the year. But commercial wise, it might be one of the most, you know, fight of the year type fights as far as um, being a main, the top of the top of a bill, you know, a uh, main event. This might be the fight of the year of the main events on um, on cable TV or, you know, just premium TV, you know. It's going to be on ESPN September 22nd in Tucson, Arizona. Felix Verdejo is going to be on the undercard, I heard. Um, He's taking a little stay busy fight while Terry Flanagan um, recovers from a leg injury on their world, lightweight world title WBO fight. And, you know, a lot of people just, you know, glossing over this fight or just don't know what's going on because they never had an official pressure for it. Um, you know, it, it was, it was, it was a, it was always a hypothetical date for this fight. It never had a concrete date. Um, it was like, okay, September 15th or something like that. Then now was September 27th is going down and, um, I mean, yeah, September 22nd is going down in Tucson, Arizona. And, um, you know, most people just think Gilberto Ramirez is going to walk over Jesse Hart. And, um, you know, I have yet to do a lot of tape on, you know, uh, this fight just in particular, I've seen Gilberto Ramirez fight uh, a lot of times. You know, he's one of my favorite fighters uh, coming up. You know, he was in my top five favorite fighters since he had a little injury. He had to build his way back up. But, you know, people are, you know, building this as a step up for Jesse Hart. But in in, the, in reality, this is, a, uh, this is the best opponent, you know, on wax, you know, from a talent potential standpoint um, that Gilberto Ramirez has ever fought in Jesse Hart. I don't think he's fought an opponent that's faster, um, that has the speed and the power of Jesse Hart and the potential and the grit. We don't know Jesse Hart been on the canvas for, for, uh, before, but it happens. You know, just because you hit the canvas don't mean it's a loss. People act like you got dropped or you lost the fight or you took a loss. Not really. Um, tell, you know, it tells a lot about a fighter, how he gets up and then how he performs. Um, but I really like this fight. I think this is a, this is a, a, a building block for a great 2017 and I think if most people, you know, pay attention and when they start running promos for it and promoting it a little bit better closer to the fight on ESPN, um, a lot of people are going to take interest in that fight. I'm like, oh, it's a fight on this weekend. It's Gilberto Ramirez versus Jesse Hart. Oh, man. Okay, I ain't doing nothing this weekend. You know, summer just came over. Let me let me check it out. Start sacking this paper and check it out. When they check it out, it's actually going to be a great, a great, great fight. I'm trying to tell you it's going to be one of the better. Um, I think it's the main event, main event fights. And uh, Jesse Hart is 22-0 with 18 knockouts. You know, Ramirez is undefeated as well. And, um, you know, this is obviously a top-ranked in-house fight. And, um, like I said, I, I really deem this kind of a uh, 50-50 fight almost. Maybe, you know, 5% in Gilberto Ramirez's favor. But I can see this fight going either which way. A lot of people say, you know, well, Jesse Hart is uh, reckless. He takes too many chances and stuff like that. But people tend to step up to, for the world, the world title uh uh, fight and they, they tend to change things. They tend to tighten things up, and they tend to take shit more serious. When you fighting, you know, mid level guys and contenders to come up to get your belt, um, you know, it's cool. To, it's fine and dandy. It's all cool. But once you get to that championship fight, you you should see the best Jesse Hart. I'm telling you, you are gonna see the best Jesse Hart. Um, you know, Ramirez has a half inch um, advantage on him, and uh, but Hart has two inches on the uh, on the reach, I believe. And uh, people just glossing by like oh, Ramirez is gonna win this fight. It's not a shoe in fight for R- Ramirez. Even though I slightly favor him before I even turn on the tape and actually study the tape, the film for this fight, but it's definitely going to be a barn burn. Nobody's really giving it no attention, and I'm gonna push it because um, you know this is a great fight. This is this is the type of um, you know steps and building blocks you take to be an A fighter for Gilberto Ramirez. Now, now he's making that way to trying to be an elite type fighter by fighting these type of fights, fighting an undefeated foe with a lot of potential, a great amateur background, and Jesse Jesse Hart. Fighting him, and then that's going to be the gateway to doing bigger and better things in the super middleweight division. And um, you got you to gotta respect him, you know. Um, coming off an of injury, subpar performance. Now nah, he, he got to show people that, you know, he the real deal. You know, he, he won the best at super middleweight. Um, you know, ultimately, a lot of people, if he, he wins this fight, and David Benavidez wins his world, cha- world championship, he's fighting in Arizona. Benavidez is from Arizona. Not, probably naturally, a lot of people going to want to see that fight once they learn a little bit more about 20-year-old David Benavidez and young Mexican uh, star Gilberto Ramirez. But just Jesse Hart is here to upset the, upset the uh, apple cart. And, you know, uh, super middleweight is one of the deepest divisions. 
Um, now, you know, and it's, it's multicultural as well. You got a, you know, first Super Bowl middleweight champion, Mexican champion, I think, Gilberto Ramirez, if I'm not uh, if I'm not wrong. Jesse Hart. You got Kayla Plant, David Benavidez, Chris Banks Jr., George Groves, Cabo Smith. You know, it's just not a European dominant division right now. It's, it's across the board, and it's going to be exciting. This fight in the World Boxing Super Series tournament is really going to kick off uh, this, this division.